Hi everyone, how are you all? I hope you all are doing great. My name is Narendra and welcome back to BTNX. Today we have an exciting topic to dive into advanced functions for data analysis. If you are someone who deals with data regularly, whether it's for work or personal projects, you are in right place. We'll be exploring some powerful functions like summifs and index match that can take your data analysis skills to the next level but before we get started i want to share something important with you btnx is hosting an exclusive workshop on microsoft office using ai tools this workshop is designed to help you leverage the latest ai tools to excel in your professional life the link is in the description box below we'll talk more about it later in the video Working professionals, are you using Excel, Power BI, PowerPoint or Word in your day-to-day -day life? What if I tell you that you are wasting 95% of your time while you are doing so? How so you will be asking me? Because you are not using ChatGPT and AI tools while doing all of these work. Now let's dive into the world of advanced data analysis functions. First up, let's talk about some ifs. This function is a game changer when it comes to adding up values based on multiple criteria. Whether you are dealing with sales data, project management or any other data set, some ifs allow you to some values that meet specific conditions. It's a real time saver. Let's see and a practical example of some ifs function. So here we are having sales data which includes salesperson name, product details, the date, sales, boxes and expenses. So with the help of some ifs function we are going to find the sales which are done by the particular person of particular product so let's use chart gpt to find out the sum ifs syntax so let's get started as you can see i've just asked chart gpt for sum ifs syntax as you can see, we got the syntax. First one is sum range. This is the range of cells that you want to sum. Then criteria one. This is the range of cells that you want to apply the first criteria to. Then criteria one. This is the criteria or condition that must be met in criteria range 1 for the corresponding values in sum range to be included in the sum. So here you can see criteria range 2, criteria 2. So you can include additional criteria ranges and criteria pairs. Each criteria range is followed by its corresponding criteria. So let's see this thing in a practical way. So here I want to find the sales done by James Smith of product A. Here I'm just writing product A, then James Smith. Okay. So here I'm using some miss function. Here, sum range. So, sales will be the sum range. Then, criteria range 1. Here, criteria range 1. So, I am going to select the all the details of salesperson. So, I am going to select the all salespersons. 
then criteria one so criteria one will be james smith okay then criteria range two all the products then criteria two will be product name that is product a okay then you can see james smith product a value will be 5000 here then so you can see the james smith here also 7500 5000 plus 7500 and you can see james smith here also 5000 5000 plus 5000 10000 plus 7500 total 17500 that's how sum ifs work before we move forward let me share something crucial with you in the rapidly evolving landscape a is reshaping industries and being equipped with the right skills is essential at b10x we understand the importance of staying ahead of the curve if you want to secure your future in this AI driven world, consider joining our to our Microsoft Office using AI Tools Workshop in which we will teach you the best AI tools to upskill, boost your productivity and enhance your career. Don't let the wave of automation affect you. Be the one controlling it. Take the control of your career now. Click the link in the description to join our workshop. Now let's talk about index match. If you have ever struggled with VLOOKUP limitations, index match is here to rescue you. This dynamic duo is incredibly versatile, allowing you to search for a value in a range and return a corresponding value from another range. It's like a supercharged VLOOKUP on steroids. So let's see syntax of index match in chart gpt as you can see here is a syntax of index match so first one will be return range the range of cells from which to retrieve the value then you have to give the match here look value the value to search for then lookup range the range of cells where the lookup value is searched here we have to give zero or false so this argument specifies an exact match it ensures a match function looks for exact match of the lookup value in the lookup range. So let's see a practical example. So here we are having a movies data set with the movies name, then directors along with the collection of that particular movies. So here we are going to enter the movie name. So let's see for the angle okay we have to look for the collection of dangal movie okay so let's use index first so collection is going to be the first one then we have to give the match lookup value dangal lookup array okay then we want exact match 
so we have to give another parenthesis done so we got the collection of dangal movie so this is how index match works and that's it for now as we wrap up don't forget to like comment and share this video if you haven't already subscribe to our youtube channel for more insightful content and of course check out the link in the description for our exclusive workshop on microsoft office using ai tools it's an opportunity to future proof your career thank you for watching we'll see you in the next one stay curious stay learning and take your data analysis skills to the new heights see you soon